Welcome to the Puzzles and Solutions channel. Today I will be looking at the Mensa Norway IQ test. A friend sent me this IQ test some days ago and I wanted to make a video about it going through each puzzle and what solution. If you would like to take the test yourself, the link will be in the description. I also suggest that you pause the video at the higher difficulty puzzles and try solving it yourself before listening to my solution. Puzzle number one. Each picture is a 3x3 grid showing a miniature version of the IQ test itself. So since it's the last picture to the right and the last picture downwards, we also know that the solution will have a black square in the most right and most downwards position. So the answer is A. Puzzle 2. By looking from top to bottom, we see that the first column only have a circle in the middle, the second column only have a plus sign in the middle, and the last only have the rotated square in the middle. And by looking at the rows, we see four dots repeating in the first row, star in the second row and square in the last row. Therefore the picture will have a square with a rotated square inside of it and the correct answer is E. Puzzle 3. So here we have the exact same situation but instead it's circle, square, triangle on the rows and on the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right we have plus sign, dot and nothing. So our answer will be a triangle with nothing inside it which is F. Puzzle 4. This puzzle is kind of similar except it's a moving part going from column to column and a rotation going from row to row. So there is a 0 degree rotation, 45 degree rotation and 90 degree rotation. So yeah, we can either base on ourselves on the row and just move the black square to the bottom. Or we can take the column and rotate the picture 45 degrees. And as you can see, this is our option F. Puzzle 5, this is the exact same as the previous one, just rotation on the columns and moving downwards on the rows. And again, you can either rotate on the rows or pull it back on the columns and we get the answer D. Puzzle 6. So here we see some black squares and if we look at the top black squares, we see that there is the same amount on every row. And if we look at the bottom black squares, we see that it's the same on every column. So we get that it's 3 on top and 3 on bottom and our answer is E. Puzzle 7. Here we have the exact same situation for the rows and the columns and all we do is we rotate the picture 90 degrees and then we add a black square at the most clockwise position compared to the other squares. So here we take picture 8, rotate it 90 degrees and add a black square at the most clockwise position which will be in the top left corner and we get the answer E. Puzzle 8. If we look at the bottom half of the pictures we see that in the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right they repeat in every picture and if we look at the top half we see that they repeat in the diagonal from the top right to the bottom left. Also the diagonal from the top right to the bottom left repeats every three diagonals so we know that it will be a dot in the middle on the top half. This leads to answer C. We could also easily solve this by seeing that column 3 is just column 2 and then rotated 90 degrees. Puzzle 9. This is another row and column puzzle, we see that the black dot repeats itself on every row in the same position and for every square we see that it repeats itself for every column. So in the last column we have a white square on the bottom left and on the last row we have a black dot on the bottom right. So we have the answer D, puzzle 10. The easiest way to solve this puzzle is just by looking at the rows and see that each picture is the previous one rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if we take our picture 8 and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, we get the picture D. Puzzle 11. This is a new kind of puzzle. If you look at the second row, we see that the second row is just the first row added with the third row. Also, if you look at the columns, the second column is just the first column added together with the last column. So if you look at the last row, we get that picture 8 minus picture 7 is picture 9. So all we have to do is remove the black dot and we get that A is the correct solution. We can do the same for the column, so we have that picture 6 minus picture 3 equals picture A. So again, the same solution. Puzzle 12. Here we can base ourselves on the rows, diagonals, columns, whatever we want. But the easiest way is just to look from the top left to the bottom right diagonal and see that it's repeating on every row and we get our answer A. Puzzle 13. If we look at the diagonal from the top left to the bottom right, we see that the colors are repeating. So we have a black picture as our answer. Also, if we see from the top right to the bottom left diagonal, we see that the shapes are repeating and they're repeating every three 
diagonals. So we have after circle comes triangles, so we have a black triangle as our answer. Puzzle 14. So here we have the same thing with the top left to the bottom right diagonal, but in this case it's the shapes. So we have a circle, and if you look from the top right to the bottom left diagonal, we have that the diagonals are repeating every three diagonals. And we have a horizontal line as our correct solution, so A is the correct answer. Puzzle 15. Exact same again, instead we have the triangle's orientation in the top left to the bottom right corner which leaves a triangle pointing upwards and then we have a repetition every three diagonals going from top left to bottom right which leaves F as the correct answer. Puzzle 14. This puzzle is the, exactly the same as the previous puzzle. Instead we have that it's the color which repeats on the top left to the bottom right diagonal and then we have these shapes which rotate 90 degrees per diagonal, so we get that it repeats every 4 diagonals, and we get that the correct answer is B. Puzzle is 17. So this puzzle is easiest solved by just looking at the rows. So first we have a 45 degree rotation clockwise, and then we have a 90 degree rotation clockwise. So we base ourselves on picture 8, and we rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, and we get picture D. Puzzle 18. So in this puzzle we see that there is a repetition in the columns, so we know that we shouldn't base ourselves on the columns, so we go by the rows, and we see that moving down one row leads to a horizontal line transitioning into a vertical line. And this is consistent for every picture in every row, so we know that our answer is picture 8 with one horizontal line swapped out for a vertical line, and our answer is C. Puzzle 19. This is another diagonal puzzle, we see that there is a repetition of circle, rotated square and nothing going from the top left to the bottom right diagonal, square, four dots, plus sign going from the top left to the bottom right diagonal. So we know our answer contains four dots and a rotated square in the center, so our answer is A. Puzzle 20. So here we have a new puzzle, it goes to like this, we add two pictures and we should just remove this overlapping line and that leads to the last picture. This is consistent for both the columns and the rows. So we just add together picture 7 and picture 8 and we get a square which has a line going from the top left to the bottom right corner which is a puzzle 21. So here we have the exact same situation as the previous puzzle so we can just add picture 7 and picture 8 and we get that B is the correct solution. Puzzle 22. Here we have a row and column puzzle. If you look at the bottom of the picture we see that it repeats on the rows and if you look at the top of the picture we see that it repeats on the columns. So we have our answer E. Puzzle 23. This is a diagonal from the top right to the bottom left puzzle and by looking at the main diagonal we see that the picture itself is also rotated like the shapes inside it is rotated so we base ourselves on picture 4 and we rotate it one to the left, which results in picture F. Puzzle 24, another addition and removing the overlapping line puzzle, and we get that the correct answer is F. Puzzle 25, this is a new unique puzzle, which we haven't solved yet. We see that the overlaps between row 1 and row 2 is row 3, or that the overlaps of column 1 and column 2 is column 3. So we can either base ourselves on picture 3 and picture 6 and see what they have in common, or picture 7 and picture 8 and see what they have in common, and they both lead to our solution E. Puzzle 26. If we look at the rows in this picture, we see that the last picture is just the intersection of the black dots in picture 1 and 2, and the addition of the lines in picture 1 and 2, and if there is overlaps of the lines, they cancel each other out. We can also go by columns with some different rules, and we get picture F for both solutions. Puzzle 27. Here we see there is a rotation on the rows by 90 degrees clockwise, and there is a change of shape in every rotation, so we get that A is the correct solution. Puzzle 28. Another addition and cancelling puzzle. If we add picture 7 and 8, we get that A is the correct solution. So now we start on the six last puzzles, which are also the hardest ones. If we look at rows or columns here, we see that our last picture is just our first picture and our second picture added together. If there are similar squares on both sides, they cancel each other out. So 
if we look at our first row, we see that both white squares cancel each other out, and the black squares just add together to have two black squares. And if we look at the second column, we have that the black squares cancel each other out, and the white squares just stack on top of each other. So we can base ourselves on rows or columns, and if we look at the last row, we see that a white is cancelled out on the right side, so we have two whites on the right side and one black on the left side, and we have the answer C. Puzzle 30. So here we have an addition puzzle, and we have to figure out how the different addition rules are. So for example, if we add a dot with a dot, what does that result in? And if we look at the first row, we can do these three rules. Dot plus dot equals square. Square plus nothing equals square. Dot plus nothing equals dot. And by looking at the second row, we see a new rule, which is square plus dot. And we get that square plus dot equals nothing. And for the final rule, we have to look at the second column, and we get that square plus square equals dot. So we can use this rule for both the last row or the last column to deduce our picture. So we see that there is a square in the top left corner, a square in the top right corner, a dot in the bottom left corner, and a dot in the bottom right corner. So E is the correct answer. Puzzle 31. So I found some patterns in this puzzle, but I didn't figure out the correct solution. And I'll go over why A, B or D is the correct answer. So if we look from the top left to the bottom right diagonal, there is an inversion of our stripes into white and white into stripes in our main diagonal from top right to bottom left. To see this more clear, I'll redraw the picture in terms of just the rows and columns, and we get this picture. So we can clearly see moving from row 1 to row 2, there is no change in white or striped. And moving from row 2 to row 3 leads an inversion of the stripes and whites, leading the whites to become stripes and stripes to become whites. And also going from column 1 to column 2 or column 2 to column 3, the colors of the most left and most right squared is kept the same when they are striped or white. And from column 1 to column 2 there is an inversion of the middle square going from white to stripe or stripe to white, and the middle square from column 2 to column 3, it's kept the same color. So from all this, we can deduce that our answer has striped, white, striped pattern. There might be black squares which hide over these patterns. So all we need to do is to find a pattern for the black squares. The only one I found was that 2, 1, 3 repeating, but it's so arbitrary that I don't really call it a pattern. Now to prove that B is in fact the correct answer, I will retake the test 4 times where I vote B and 3 other answers in the others, and I will get a higher IQ when I vote B, so therefore B is correct. Puzzle 32, so this is way easier than the last puzzle. All we need to do is we look at the first or second row, or first and second column, and then we see the similarities in the last row or column, and then we just switch the sides, so bottom becomes top and top becomes bottom. So if we compare picture 7 and picture 8, we have that they have a black dot on the top right in common, so we take this, we swap side, and we get picture A is correct. Puzzle 33, this is another diagonal puzzle from top right to bottom left. If we compare the first row and the second row in this diagonal, we see that the right side is always changed, and the rules are that the top right is prioritized to be swapped with the bottom right, but if there is no top right, then the bottom right is swapped for the top right. And if we look at the relationship between the second and the third row, we have that the bottom left square is prioritized to swap over to the top side, but if there are none, then, then the top left is swapped out for the bottom right. Now in order to see this, I changed the picture so that it becomes a diagonal and column puzzle. And we see that the pattern holds true, so if we take picture 6 and then we swap over bottom left triangle, we have that E is the correct solution. Puzzle 34, so this is another puzzle going from the diagonal from top right to the bottom left. We see that there is a repetition of the black dots and where they are placed. So yeah, we can deduce that there is a black dot in the left middle. And now for the white dots, there are two ways to deduce the answer. Either we can see that there is a pattern, the pattern in the rows where the white covers all the possible spaces 
in each row with the black squares covering over the white squares which results in the answer A or we can see that from the diagonal from top right to bottom left the white squares are rotated clockwise one position so we take our picture 4 and then we rotate the whites clockwise once and we get picture A again puzzle 35 I found this puzzle surprisingly easy compared to the other hard ones all we need to see is that in the diagonals there are repeating patterns so if we look from the top left to the bottom right diagonal we have that there is there is this V shape which repeats on our main diagonal and if we look at the top right to the bottom left diagonal which repeats every third diagonal we see that there is two lines on the sides on the sides which repeats so we have that there are two sides with a V shape in our picture so we have that D is the final answer. Now before ending the video I would like to take the IQ test with the answers provided in this video and see what result I get. Also I'll see you in the next video.